Hi, shalom, friends. You know, we're used, we are used to using the English language in more than one way. Language doesn't only define, but it conveys certain images or certain ideas. For example, when it comes to time and you call up and someone says, he'll be with you in a minute, or one second, please, no one's looking at the watch to, to clock it. We understand that it's a figure of speech. A minute, a second means a short interval. Uh, when it comes to location or direction, up and down is very different when it comes to emotions. So a person who wakes up in a bad mood or, or slightly sad will say, uh, I don't know, I'm just feeling down. And of course, we all are familiar with the exhilaration and we say, oh, he's on a high. Obviously, in both cases, it's not a location, but it's some type of a, uh, an energy almost, which is being conveyed. The word hot and cold. Hot and cold is not only temperature. We all know what's, what's called hot food, spicy food, hot sauce. And of course, when it comes to personalities, this guy's hot, man. She's cold, he's cold, she's, co he's, she's hot. Obviously, these words mean more than, uh, than the literal translation. But when it comes to Jewish law, it becomes very interesting. If I ask you, um, what f do not kindle a fire on the Sabbath. Do not make a fire on the Sabbath. Uh, you say, well, we all know what fire is. You take, uh, I guess, uh, a flintstone, you bring a spark to some sawdust, and you have a fire. And I ask you, is fire hot or cold? And you say, what kind of silly question is that? Of course, fire is hot. And then we look at electricity, which halachically speaking might be, there's much more than what I'm saying, but it might be seen as a form of fire. And today we have cold electricity in the sense of where you put your hand on a, on a light bulb and there's no heat whatsoever. So in the olden days, the incandescent bulb, literally you could get burnt. And, when, and it actually, when it went out, I remember you used to see like a little flash. Literally, it burnt up. And then there's fluorescent lighting, which begins with a spark, exciting the gases. And as we go further and further in, into today's lighting, it becomes colder. There's no heat. Is that fire? So now the question is, is there such a thing called cold fire? Well, I bring this up because the Torah is fire. And the Torah is light. Tor ki ner mitzvah, for a candle, is a mitzvah. Torah or and Torah is light. Or usually we would say a person who's filled with Torah study or is involved in Torah study is hot. He's passionate. He's enthusiastic. He's uh, he's on fire. He has a godly fire inside of him, and he and he expresses it. But if we say that fire could be cold, wouldn't it be um, wouldn't it be suggestive? to imply that there's a way of studying Torah and it leaves you cold. It's not like you haven't studied, you know that you have the knowledge, you have the information, and perhaps you even practice what you're studying, but it is cold. And cold is lifeless. Cold is rigid. Cold is monotonous. Cold is the opposite of holiness. So here we are, getting ready for Pesach, for Passover, and there's a lot of things to do, a lot of things to buy, a lot of things to prepare. And maybe you take it um, exciting enough, you're going to lead the Seder press, you're even looking up some inspirational or thoughtful ideas to share with your guests. Remember, though, the most important part of the Seder, besides following the rituals, is to be hot. Bring some fire into your Seder. I don't mean it literally. I don't want you to have burnt uh, brisket, but I mean some fire into your seder. Make it meaningful. Make it real. Don't try to impress. Be genuine. You're doing what people have done for 3,000 years, 3,300 years. It is a song of praise to the Almighty. It is a time of celebration of the Jewish national birthday. And most of all, it's a celebration that we are truly, truly joyous that from amongst the billions of people on earth, God has a truly fiery, special relationship to his people, the Jews. Shalom, and may you have some fire in your life.